Now, this actor is out with a new children's book, his third. It's called I Don't Want to Read This Book Aloud. Max Greenfield is here first on CBS Mornings. Max, good morning to you. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. Uh, yeah. Aloud is a very weird word when yes. you read it over and over and over again. Uh, and, and Especially when you say it aloud. Yeah, yeah. Aloud. We, yes. we address that in the book. I'm like, why are we not just saying out loud? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So and, the, and the main character here uh, <laughs> yeah. wants to be a silent, as you put it. Yes, yeah. that's um, right. This that's is a great, right. It's a great book. It's, it'll be wonderful for parents to read aloud. Yes. Um, what made you want to write it? What was the inspiration? This is the third... Uh, uh, in the series of these type of books. The first one was called I Don't Want to Read This Book Aloud, and it was for <laughs> reluctant readers, and it was all the reasons why you might not want to read a book aloud, and by the end of that book, you've read the book aloud. Uh, the second book was This Book Is Not a Present. And for, it's for kids who, you know, don't enjoy opening up a gift and realizing it's a book. <laughs> it's a book, um, yeah. And it's really for kids who learn in different ways, who are active learners, uh -huh. um, you know, who rather get an electric guitar or a skateboard. And then this one was, and we'd always talked about doing this book, it's, you know, trying to tackle the idea of being scared to read aloud, which mm -hmm. I think not only Is that only talking kids, about you? It's, of, yes. Was it, it what, talking about of you? Of course it's talking but about But how me. could that be? I mean, yes. you're a professional I actor. I mean, well, like, you your know. whole job is, like, reading at auditions <laughs> and, you know, like, well, scripts. Well, the, the book sort of addresses all the fears that you might have while reading aloud and, and, and allows you to sort of voice those or allows a teacher or a parent or a librarian to voice those to sort of take that away. But you know, I've experienced probably every one of those multiple times and now I'm just, I'm numb to them all. Yeah. I mean, we used to do table reads for New Girl and I mean, I, I, I'll tell the story, Jake will probably get mad at me, but Jake Who, and I- Who's Jake? Who's, Jake plays, would play Nick on, uh -huh. on the show, Jake mm -hmm. Johnson and we would get the scripts very late. It was like right before the table reads, and we would just skim through them for words that we were afraid that we would mispronounce in front of everyone. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like this, and he'd be like, oh, you got some big words today. <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna mess up in front it's of It's nerve wracking. Everyone. It is. Yes, it's nerve wracking. And this is a children's book, but adults deal with it too. Yeah, You, know, you, sure. you hear that you have to give a presentation in front of your peers. Yes. Y you find yourself caught in this place where you're, you have self-doubt. Yes, yeah. totally. I think, don't you guys think it's easier to read or do something in front of a group of strangers than people that know you? 100%, Don't you yeah. think it's much easier yes. to, talk, to me to talk yeah. to a group of strangers who don't know you? But even still reading, and, 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 and you guys are off prompter a lot, and it gets, it's tricky, it's a, real, it's a real skill, and it's different from just reading straight, which is also a skill. You know, we addressed that in the first book, but it's like, this is, reading is a skill, and it's not easy for everybody. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, you put, this whole other element of reading aloud to people, and yeah. especially you put that, you know, in the hands of a seven, eight, nine, ten-year-old kid. Well, these poor children. Yes. Yeah. What are we putting? Talk, talk about poor children, poor adults. This is the first children's book where I've seen the word aplomb a in a children's book. A well, I like that word a lot because a one, there's many different ways to pronounce yes, it. Yes. Aplomb. Yes. Aplomb. <laughs> I'm not really sure what the correct pronunciation <laughs> is, but, and what we talk about in the book is like what happens when you run into a word like that and you, you don't go, uh, and you uh, often stop and just go, I don't know what to do at this point. Yeah. I'm gonna say it wrong and everybody's gonna make fun of me and why is everybody staring at me and I don't know what to and do. You start now. sweating and then uh, it's, it's Max, your worst nightmare. I'm staring, are those Taylor Swift bracelets that you're wearing? Big Honestly. Time. Well, this one's. <laughs> they time. look like Taylor Swift bracelets. This one's our song. Um, and the other one's one that my son made. Uh, it's just his name. Did that's you go not, to the Taylor Swift song. concert? Did you I go? I did. Because I'm thinking those look like those friendship bracelets. So you're a Swifty. <laughs> or you're a Swifty by association because your daughter. Of your daughter. Is. Well, uh, she initially got me in, and now I'm, now I'm like the annoying <laughs> nerd dad who's like this. You know, uh, I think we got the best surprise songs because. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, can you not talk about this? <laughs> Oh, well, the book is great. It's your third. Are you going to have a fourth? Is that in the works? Yes. Wow. We are working on a fourth. It's a different book than, than we, I think this is the final in the series it's of, its reading, of reading. Dedicated books, to but. your wife, Tess. I like yes, that. Yes, this is dedicated to it. my wife, Tess, who just missed you at Beyonce. Oh, she was yeah. She very we, sad. We had a good time. I go, have you seen Bell. Gail? <laughs> and the book is Bravo, meant to be read aloud. Max Greenfield, thank you very much. The book is I Don't Want to Read This Book Aloud. Wow. It goes on sale tomorrow, wherever you like to buy your books.